Hello everyone, my name is Robin and welcome back to Doki Doki Salvation Remake. So in the last episode, Monica and Nasuki finally had a talk about Monica's sta status and, uh, and how the club's going and Nasuki even assist help helping her if I recall correctly. The conversation also transformed into Nasuki's, I guess, family life and how she lost her mom at a young age and how her dad has just been not acting the same. In the, co in the conversation, Monica had almost had also promised to allow Natsuki to uh, talk about her manga in the next meeting as the, the whole purpose of the literature club was for everyone to express themselves. So we do that, have a good time, yay, and before uh, MC and Sayuri, Sayuri leave, uh, Yuri gives MC a present which is the portrait of Markov book that she's been reading as a thank you for helping her out with, well, her cutting problems. And now we have, we are back in Monica's perspective, so let's continue. Okay. Okay. Okay! <laughs> oh yeah, I guess another thing I forgot that, uh, Monica, after MC and Sarah leave, Monica and Yuri are left alone, so, yeah. I slowly reopened my eyes. No glitches, no static, no flashes. Just me and her. <laughs> so, uh, manga Natsuki gave you? <laughs> Told me about that one. She seemed pretty excited about it. She even talked about you when she brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri doesn't respond at all. Instead, she fidgets a little before gathering up her stuff and preparing herself to leave. Yuri? Hmm? What is it? I, uh, I think it's about time I apologize for what I said to you last week. Ah, I see. It's alright. I forgive you. You... you do? Never been one to hold a grudge. Uh, that's commendable. Scratch my head nervously. If I'm being honest, I expect you to be angrier with me. Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't angry at some point. But I immediately began to wonder why you said all those things. How do you even know that I did these things to myself? I began thinking. How much do I really know about you? Uh-oh. You really don't know anything. I only showed you what I wanted to show you. That wasn't you that week. I know it wasn't. How'd you know that? You've always been that person that inspired me to do great things. Reach for my full potential and work towards it. I refuse to believe that the Monica I know would have genuinely meant what she said that day. If that makes any sense. Don't worry. Makes perfect sense. I don't, I don't really have a proper explanation as to why I did what I did. It's become pretty clear that something's going on. And I'd like to know what it is. We all would. Look down at my hands. I... I don't know where to begin. It's, um... Monica, are you okay? Oh no. Her voice is muffled. My hands begin to uh, shiver violently. Oh, it's very hard to... Oh, God. <laughs> Suddenly lose feeling in my legs and fall over. Feel two arms grab and hold me up. Am I about to fall? I don't even know what just happened there. Fully open my eyes and realize I'm now sitting down in the chair at the front of the club room. Are you okay? Do you need me to call the emergency services? No. This is necessary. Need to rest speak for a short while, but it seems like ages. She's probably worried about me. But why? Still understand why. Something's happening to me. And I don't really think I'm ready to talk about with anyone. But what I did last week I was wrong. And I realize that now. I don't really know what else to say. Oh, a lot going on in your life, don't you? Maybe just thought what you did was right, even if you weren't entirely clear on that. Siri so told us that you tend to be really hard on yourself when things don't go your way. I can't really say I know how that feels. Is it really possible that I've just been wrong about everything? Yuri awkwardly avoids making eye contact with me, but kneels down so that we're at eye level with each other. You sure you don't need me to call for help? You nearly fainted there. It's not necessary, but um, would it be too much if I asked for you to... No, actually, maybe that's not such a good idea. It's okay. Were you gonna ask me... Were you gonna ask for me to walk you home? Oh, uh, yes, I was. <laughs> really get up from my chair, having experience with these fainting spells in the past. Able to stand on my own feet with relative ease after a short time. Despite this, Yuri still grabs onto my arm and helps me stand upright. Strangely, just like when Natsuki helped me up, I feel comforted by her touch. Something I've desired for so long. But how come I'm only starting to feel it now? Can you walk okay? Yeah, I'll manage. Yuri, gracefully as ever, places her bag around her shoulder and allows me to walk out of the club room first. Thank you, Yuri.
Look back towards the table series, see to that, making sure she can't hear me placing the order. A special order for Sayori and I. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Back when we were kids, we always ordered the cinnamon buns. They were her favorite. I hope they are to this day. Positive that mu not much has changed in that regard. Turn to my seat and wait for our order to arrive. Ah, that Russian nostalgia nearly knocked me off my feet when we walked in here. No kidding, and <laughs> you trip and fall. That's right, you did. Sure does hit the spot after a long day, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sari takes a big whiff of the cafe, which sure awakens some brood mem buried memory within her. Hmm? Oh, that smell anywhere. The cinnamon buns, if I know a thing or two. Yeah. <laughs> the instant Russian nostalgia completely melts us both away. You ordered a cinnamon buns! You still remember? <laughs> of course I do. How could I forget? Went bananas over these. <laughs> I really did, didn't I? Yeah. So much so your mom started to call you bun because you always asked for them. Jeez, you remember so much, huh? Why didn't you expect me to? Mm hmm. Sarah reaches for a napkin to pick up her snack and prepares to take a bite. Hold on. Do a bite of together. <laughs> Alright. Fall student prepared to take a bite of the cinnamon bun. Ready? She nods excitedly. I bet she's gonna eat it first any anyway. Dig in! <laughs> in perfect unison that both of us take our first bites of our snacks, instantly blown away at the flavor and blissful nostalgia. So good. Mm, I'm, ma I'm mashing. <laughs> the both of us start la laughing amongst ourselves as we enjoy a quick trip back to our childhoods. Times were simpler. There was no depression to worry about. We were just kids, best of friends, us against the world. And in thinking about the depression, I only think about how much I'd like for her to just feel better. Hey, did you remember to take your pills this morning? She only nods as she, as she continues chewing. Give her a friendly smile as I think back to our childhood. Strange feeling, honestly. I mean, I had it as good as I could have. Best friend. Someone I could have relied on. And I just let that go. Man, I'm dumb. <laughs> Look, she ran back down my past. I noticed Sayori's expression shifts quite subtly, but I'm just still noticeable. I don't know if that's a good... That doesn't... It doesn't sound too good of how things have been going. What's up, Sayori? Don't you like it? Eh, what do you mean? Yeah, it's great. Alright, I just couldn't help but notice your expression there. It seemed like you were kind of down of something. Oh. Eh, it's not really anything important. Hmm. Ugh. Okay, look back down at our happy and cinnamon buns and ponder for a moment. Mm, you know what I think could help? Ooh, help with what? You know, your depression? Ah, jeez. Come on, man. <laughs> ah, wait, sorry. I probably shouldn't have bothered bringing it up, huh? No, no, it's alright. I know you mean well. Maybe just the way he phrased it. Guess I wasn't expecting to hear you say it so casually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I scratched my head. Uh, but I was gonna say that maybe the kinds of foods you've been eating have an effect... Hmm. You know, like... I guess this the cinnamon bun here. My mom used to always tell me that eating a bunch of bad food can rot your brain. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, did you really have to tell me that now? <laughs> oh no, I guess not. God damn it. Sorry. It was just an idea. I didn't really mean to make you feel bad or anything. It's alright. It wasn't alright. Two minutes of silence go by as we both look down at our phones. As I'm finishing up my snack, I know she's stopped eating hers. Hey, you're gonna Hmm. I wonder who that could be. It's probably Yuri. I'm guessing at least. I'm shocked to realize that it's not a text message, but an email. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Ah shit. What's up? You only ever swear when it's something serious, so you can't hide it from me. Yeah, I know. I just didn't really want to tell you. My grades aren't as good as I've made them been since the last few weeks. What? Taylor's genuinely shocked voice only makes me feel worse. Yeah, I'm sorry. But we've been working together on assignments this whole time. Surely these teachers are just out to get you now. I know, Monica knows some people who can help. I could just talk to her and... No, it's not gonna work. Because this is all me. I've been letting my grades fall because I've been so... I stopped myself. So what? Nah, that's not gonna fly, bro. What matters is I'm gonna change these grades. I'll worry about these myself. In other words, they aren't anything for you to worry about. Alright. Look back down at my phone and open up the website to check my grades individually. None of these courses are actually as intensive as I'm probably making them seem. This is the truth of me basically ignoring my work in order to focus on Sayori is something that I really don't want to admit. To her, or myself. But as I look at how low some of these grades are, I can't help but realize how much of a toll it's taken on me. Let out a sigh and place my phone in my pocket. Finish up my cinnamon bun and clean up after myself. Sayori, you, you want to take your bun home? Huh? Oh, no, that's okay. God damn it. Don't really want it anymore. Uh, I grab a neck and wrap it around the unfinished pastry. At a quick glance, it becomes obvious that she only ate a one bite out of it. Walk over to the trash can and toss it away. So, ready to head out? 
Sterling nods her head as she grabs her bag and throws it around her shoulder. As per usual, I offer my arm to her. She stares at me for a short moment before accepting my offer and interlocking our arms together. As we exit the cafe, a beautiful sunset has already painted the sky, a mix of orange and pink, and the weather is perfectly breezy and fresh. Over here, Sierra, we take a deep breath and sigh as we make our way back home. After a decently long walk, we arrive back in, in our neighborhood. Jeez, kind of forgot how much of a workout that was. <laughs> I know, right? I'm all sweaty now. Yeah, go take a sh- <laughs> Hey, you're all sweaty too. You probably smell way worse than me. Like you want to prove that to yourself. Huh? No, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, so what are the plans for today? Want to hang out some more? Sure. Ooh, wait. You can't just get distracted anymore. You have a lot of work to do. Ah, uh, right. Well, what if I really strictly keep it about homework and nothing else? Hmm. Thomas, cross my heart. Hope to. Oh man. Okay, well, maybe not the die part, but yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll be home early today as well, so maybe she can help. Great. Let's get into it then. But, MC, didn't you say it was uh, a problem that only you can work out or something? You let it slide. <laughs> So then I said, you're not the only one with this curse with knowledge. And he said, I'm like, what? There's no way you just dropped a coal from us. Because <laughs> the teacher didn't like hearing that. <laughs> oh my god. And this all happened last week? How come I'm barely finding it out now? I didn't think it was worth mentioning. I didn't even get in trouble. That's actually hilarious though. I guess it is. <laughs> Oh, hey, there's Natsuki. Turn around and sure enough, there she was standing in line at the microwaves to heat up her food. Oh yeah. Want to invite her to sit with us again? Oh, wait a minute. Look again, she doesn't really seem to be in a great mood. Oh no. I think I know what's coming up ahead of us. Turn back around and notice she actually seems annoyed. You, sh you sure that's just... not how she normally looks? Maybe, but I don't know. Something seems off. But all the more reason to invite her over to have lunch with us, yeah? I don't know. I don't want to bother her if she's going through something. Yeah, that's guess that's true. Both watch Natsuki and she removes her food from the microwave, then walks over to a table of girls I've never seen before. I have a bad feeling about this one. I'm assuming those are her other friends she talks uh, she talks about sometimes. Yeah, she's never really said anything great about them, but it's not really any of our business. Yeah, look back towards Natsuki's table. They need to be having a good time amongst themselves, laughing loudly and doing whatever it is girls do during lunch. Only seems more and more distracted by... Wait, Sayori only seems more and more distracted by what's going on over there, though. I'm not sure what she's... I'm not sure what she's overheard, but it seems to be bothering her. Well... Look back around and place both my hands on the table. Do you have any other Sayori tales that you like to tell me? Oh yeah, this one time I had this dream where I owned a bazillion chinchillas. Chinchillas, like those small gray mouse things? Yeah. Why those animals, specifically? Because I got one right here in my bag. What? No, no, don't bring them up! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I got you good, didn't I? Jeez, Sayori, how long were you planning that one? At least two days. That's some dedication. It's totally worth it, though. Sure, whatever. I'm just glad nobody heard me scream like that. That was embarrassing. I don't know. <laughs> Aren't you, you're out in the public? I feel like at, there, there at least a, there has to be at least one group that heard that. Let me see that stuffed animal. Is he gonna like beat the crap out of it? <laughs> it's not a chinchilla, in fact. I don't really know what it is. It seems to be just some random stuffed mouse that Sayori brought from home. They play toss it back to Sayori who catches it and giggles. Can't scare me, Robin. I'm unstoppable. Mo ha ha ha. Hello. Oh! <laughs> it's just you, Yuri. Hello. <laughs> Why'd you insist on hugging me all the time? You want me to stop? <laughs> what if she just said yes? But I'm not hearing a no. So we're just gonna pretend that you didn't just scream like a little girl just then? Because that was hilarious. Shut up! <laughs> Sorry, Sayori. <laughs> okay, that's getting too cocky anyways. Yeah, I kind of saw Yuri coming over, so I just let it happen. Hey, that makes me even more of me. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> well, I came over because I heard a strange scream. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Alright, I yield. Alright, girl power. Apologies, Robin. I was a low-hanging fruit. I had to go for it. Surprised you did. I didn't think you'd have it in you to be funny. 
Well, I mean, the last time that Suki brought out cupcakes, uh, she shut you up. <laughs> you kidding? You're gonna be the funniest girl in the whole club. Well, I don't know about that one. By the way, Yuri, do you know anything about Natsuki's other friends? Hmm? Yuri glances over around and... Gl Yuri glances around and spots the table Natsuki's sitting at. It's not really any of my concern. Hey, right, sorry. Sarah and I were just curious, I guess. It's alright. You both mind if I join? Not at all. You can sit next to me. Yuri sits herself down gracefully and pulls out her bento box. Lunch continues. Lunch continues on as normal while Sayori sharing some other tall tales and Yuri providing her own insight. So he doesn't really get brought up again for some reason though I can't not think about her. Sure, I basically had this big crush on. Her. Oh, mm. <laughs> I, I don't know if he, I don't remember if he mentioned that earlier in the mod. Anyways, but I don't think that I should mean that should mean I don't, I can't care about her. Sayori was right. She looked pretty upset, more than she usually does anyway. Well, I think I can do about that now. Yuri, Sayori, and I all finish up our lunches and get ready to tackle the rest of the school day. It's gonna happen this time. Okay, club time. Okay, we're the first ones here. We have to be quick about this. Yeah, let's get these manga organized. Yeah, they uh, plan to do that, I guess, last episode too. But, how are they supposed to be organized in the first place? Uh, well, putting all the same series together is a start. For example, pick up a three attack times volumes and place them in order in the shelf. There, just like that. All right, good thinking so then. Oh, there opens up a manga with a particularly strange cover. Uh, what's that? I think it's... Gee, Sari, you seem awfully casual about this. Not a big deal to me. This stuff exists like any other manga, right? I guess. Just didn't think that you would have this in her collection, let alone keep it in the club. Robin, do you recognize this manga? You seem to blush pretty hard when I showed it to you. Hmm? Ah, oh, shit, I oh, don't know. Of course I don't. What do you expect? It's a bunch of naked girls. I'm just teasing. <laughs> Natsuki exposed and MC almost exposed. Both organized the manga on the shelf, keeping each series together as well as making sure they're all in order. Only took a few more minutes to organize everything. Piece of cake. And all before she arrives, the others arrive. Yep, hopefully Natsuki loves it when she gets here. Why does she's like, I hate it! As soon as she finished saying that, the club door opens up. To my surprise, all three girls walk in at the same time. Yo! <laughs> See, we've all arrived at the exact same time for once. <laughs> How long has Monica not slept? And Natsuki looks pretty Well, she was angry at the... During lunch. Is she I, I, things are about to throw down. Except me and Robin, we showed up early. By the way, Natsuki, you should go check out the closet. We left a bit of surprise for you. Uh, okay. Natsuki walked over to the back of the room to check out the closet. Yuri whispers to us. What you guys do? We didn't do anything bad, did you? Hope not. We just organized her manga for her since we didn't do it yesterday. Then I don't know why Sayori phrased it like that. As she comes back, not looking any different from before. Well, we do an okay job. Yeah, we did okay. It's whatever. Hey, is something wrong, Natsuki? No, nothing. Get off my case, Sayori. Monica, isn't there some poem sharing we can do or something? If not, I'm just gonna go read over there. Uh, I mean, excuse me, Robin, could you do me a huge favor? Oh, uh, sure, what's, what is it? There's a particular book I need from the library, but I don't want to cause any trouble by leaving again. Ah, uh, right away then. Which book do you need? Here he pulls out her phone and scrolls around for a bit. She turns it around and shows me a picture of a book with the title blurred out. The cover art is so hard to see. It seems to depict a door with the word Red Rum writing, written on, written on it. Wait, Red Rum? Ben Ren Robinson. Ben Ben, Ben 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 <laughs> Kind of an... <laughs> Precisely, I need finding it based on the cover art alone. Don't remember what it's called? At all? Can't really recall. But I do know the title starts with the... You're using me a very calm but strange smile. Yeah, it's... Uh, calm? I don't know. Strange? Yes. In any case, looks like I really don't have any choice anymore. Besides, she's got a good point. Her leaving the club for a long period of time would probably cause more harm than good. Alrighty then, I'll be right back. Hopefully I can find it. Good luck. She's setting off. She's <laughs> she's setting us off to do her dirty work. I mean, I guess I see where she's coming from, but it seems so sudden. In any case, it's time to go book hunting. Woo! I head down the hallway towards the library. Yay! Hopefully, I don't have any overdue books. Ah, who am I kidding? I never go to the library. <laughs> Hurry up! Okay, who's doing this? Of course. It's Monica. I struggle to hide the pain in my face as something changes dramatically. I was usually able to tell exactly what happens within the code before. This time I can't seem to tell at all. Was it really that easy for me to just make him leave like that? 
Ah, uh, no wonder. He planned this all- this whole entire thing. Why? How? I should probably go with him. Actually, Sayori, I really appreciate it if you stayed here. What's going on here, Yuri? Why'd you send Robin on a wild goose chase for a book? It wasn't that obvious, was it? I could have sworn I did a good job at that. Please, I knew something was up the moment you didn't know the name to The Freaking Shining. May as well tell us what it is all about now. Oh no. What's what's gonna happen? Maybe I should go find Robin myself. Or were they to stop me from doing that anyway? I'll just say that I need to use the bathroom or something. Game's stubbornness only seems to show itself when I'm blatantly obvious about what I'm doing. Surely this won't. Wanted to get Robin out of the room for a moment. Because this is something I know you wouldn't like for him to hear. Very? Don't. Oh. Uh oh. It seems like Yuri knows her just as much as I do. Yuri, I don't know what you're trying to do here, but maybe this isn't the best idea. You have to talk to us. Ab Wait, you have to talk to. Wait, you have to talk to us about it, Natsuki. About what? There's nothing to talk about. Oh, daddy issues. This is stupid. Just shut up. I'm gonna go read over there. Leave me alone. She walks over to the closet. Charlie pulls out some manga and call it a day. I don't, how come I'm suddenly interested in how this is going to play out? Hmm. Such a bad friend. I never said anything. I'm sorry. It's not true. You're a wonderful friend. What should I even say here? Do I even care about Natsuki to try and fix whatever whatever it is she's going through? Monica, what do you think? What should we do? Both girls look at me with genuine look of sincerity. A look that really proves how much they care and want to help their friend. I don't understand why I feel so compelled to help her as well. Okay, Monica. Let's talk it up for just a bit. Time to be a club president. Okay, you two. I know more about Natsuki than you might think. Yuri, did she ever tell you about... Shh, not so loud! Right, sorry. Lower my voice to whisper. There's something you two may not know. Started the club, I caught her hanging out with her other friends after school, right before the club meeting started. They don't treat her right. From an outsider's perspective, it could have even been argued she's being bullied and pushed around by them. Ah, so you're already aware of this predicament she's found herself in. Pretty much. She told me a little bit about it while we were spending some time together. And then she's super sensitive about it. She's never even told me the full story. Sounds like she doesn't feel comfortable talking about it. Maybe she feels like she'd be betrayed. She'd be betraying them if she talked bad about them. I think so too, but I don't want to push her to talk about it. Well, do you want to hear my opinion? But we might have to try. It's really bothering her and it's been going on for a very long time. We're her friends, aren't we? We have to step in and help her out. Sometimes when it comes to our friends, we have to take control over the situation as best as we can. But I still want to help my friend. That much is true. Look over towards Nasuki, who is barely walking out the closet with some manga. Make eye contact with Jennifer for a brief moment before she looks away and returns to the closet. Are you suggesting we just confront her and force her to tell us then? Mm, I don't know about that one, Monica. Sounds like an awful idea. <coughs> Ugh. But I don't really have any other ideas. What about you, Sayori? I say it's time for some tough love. We have to show Natsuki that we're here for her no matter what. Suki! Oh god, not right now. <laughs> we, got, we, we need to organize a plan first, bro. First, there's a bit of arguing. Sayori, what do you want? Leave me alone. Hey, don't grab that one. Come to the group then. They're threatening me. But that? Just come on. Oh, man. All right, all right. Stop it, Sayori. I get it. Sayori and Natsuki both rejoined the group, with Natsuki not looking too pleased about how this all turned out. A smart but also cheeky way of getting her in. Thought I made it pretty clear I don't really want to talk about this. And Yuri, the only reason why you even know about this in the first place is because it accidentally slipped out. I know, I'm sorry. Just that I don't really, um, I don't really like seeing you like this. You seem to have missed the part where that's supposed to be my problem. Come on, Natsuki, don't talk to her like that. Please, like you're in any place to tell me how I should be talking to her. Suki, I hear that you're upset. Yeah, I'm amazed because all of you are hanging up on me like this. I mean, could you at least show me a bit of respect? Jeez, man. <laughs> we all stay silent for a moment. She's got a point. I realized that we all just sort of attacked her and expected her to just open up open up to us immediately after. Yuri fidgets around a bit while Natsuki continues to avoid making eye contact with any of us. Curiously, she hasn't bothered returning to the closet or even bothered leaving the room. Not angry, she seems surprised she hasn't just left. Do you remember our first ever fight? Don't you think we've really connected with each other since then? I guess so. So you should know better than anyone else that I would love to stop talking about this, please. I still remember each and every one of your talks and discussions as well. I still fail to see how th that has anything to do with this. Here takes a deep breath and lets out a sigh. I think it has everything to do with this. Ow. 
Don't you see that we're all standing here for a reason? Don't you see that we just want to help? This again. Monica, I'm taking off. I don't really appreciate being treated this way. Why are you running away why why are you running away from us? That what you really want Who said I'm running away from you? Just wanna leave. You're better than this. I know you are. I don't care what you think. What I do is none of your or anyone else's business. But we care about you, Natsuki. Not a charity case. Hmm. You sure? What? <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Guys, please don't fight again. I know everything about you. You're an open book. Something. Something's not right. Yuri's entire demeanor changes so much it's almost overwhelming. I'm an open book? Just look at the mirror, Yuri. That's exactly my point. You're scared. Shut the hell up. Never actually had a true friend. Oh, where's this coming from? If you don't shut your mouth, I swear I'll... Push me away? Oh no. Like everyone else who pushed away because you're terrified of getting hurt? What are... So terrified of being bullied? Mocked? Isolated? That even when you do miraculously find real friendship, you freak out and push them away too? <laughs> I've seen all of this before. That's why you're so easy to read. Because I've already read it. You and I are far more similar than you think. We're the same, Natsuki. Natsuki and Yuri stare at each other for a few short seconds, breathing heavily. In fact, Natsuki is one that seems to be breathing a lot faster than Yuri. She looks down and runs out the room. Did, did I mess that up? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe it was a little too much for her to handle. I just got frustrated. Seeing her act this way when I know deep down she really wants help with this stuff, I don't like I'm any better. The two girls awkwardly look down at the floor and I follow suit as a, as a result. Don't really know what they're thinking about right now. But for me, I'm just confused. I used to be so angry and rageful, but now I just don't understand anything anymore. Is this my fate now? You just endlessly float in this place, stuck trying to deal with these fake problems that I'm ulti that ultimately mean nothing. What's the point of all this? When will this game show its hand? Girls, we all did good today, even if it might not feel like it. Nobody's perfect at handling these situations, but I believe that she'll come around. Sure hope so. This week can be kind of confusing sometimes. How so? You know how she, how you know how she can be. She doesn't really talk about her personal stuff with us. She always pushes it aside, and I think she prefers to keep it that way. You're right. Whenever we've hung out together, things never really got past talking about books or manga. Don't get me wrong, she asked me about my personal life before. I never really wanted to pry into hers. She's always been a very reserved person and not afraid to keep those feelings inside no matter how intense they are. Sometimes quite aggressively. Let us I and sit on top of the desk on front. As I swing my legs back and forth in contemplation, I think back to the talk that Tsukuna had the other day. She mentioned her past with me, but not much restraint either. I'm gonna go find her. You can have gone far. No, I can't let you do that. Why not? I have an idea. I'll go out and look for her. I like to think I'm somewhat of a mitigator in this situation. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Maybe right about that, but remember what Sayori said earlier? You have to show Natsuki that we're here for her, no matter what. That still stands. We can we can go with you then. No, it's not the best idea either. Because when you just forced her out of her comfort zone earlier, she's probably not going to be thrilled to see you right now. <laughs> she dejectedly agrees. Smile at her and move to pick up my stuff. You guys can trust me, right? I don't know. Can we? Uh-oh. <laughs> because of me, not in an angry or disappointed way, but rather a way that reminds me of what happened just a week ago. Ugh, right. Well, actions speak louder than words, don't they? I wonder about that. I take a deep breath and sigh. You sure about this? Absolutely. Well, if you say so. Walk towards the door and slide them open. Whew. Okay, so if I were Natsuki, where would I go? Waving my hands in the air only to realize the console doesn't appear whatsoever. Figures. At this point, this is par for the course. There's no real way to access the code now. It's basically a guessing game on where the characters are going to be. Let's see. Yeah, let's start there. Can't believe Yuri didn't know the name to The Shining. I mean, I should probably feel bad for not recognizing the cover myself, but a literal horror story expert needing help finding this book? There's something fishy about that. Take my way back towards the school and head. What? Tsuki, what are you doing out here? Oh, hi. Tsuki's sitting on a bench all by herself. She doesn't respond when I call out to her. I have to look around and slowly walk up to her. You alright? She knows what her nose. It almost seems like she just finished crying. Yeah, I'm fine. I actually like to ask you something. Sure, shoot. Have you ever regretted something you said? Like, basically the moment it comes out of your mouth? 
Oh, yeah, plenty of times. Not a feeling I'm unfamiliar with at all. Why? Something happened in the club? Sort of. It's not really anything I feel like talking about, though, so don't even ask. Alright, won't even try. I heard you to scooch over in the bench to allow me some room. She reluctantly scooches over and sighs. Yeah, there's a lot of things I regret saying pretty much instantly. Yeah? Did it have to do with anything involving your friends? Mm-hmm. Sayori. Ah. Won't ask any more details about that. We sit together quietly for a while, not really feeling awkward or anything. Do you think I belong in the club? I turn towards her, slightly confused, but she seems pretty dead serious. Bit of a loaded question. A bit of a loaded question, isn't it? It's a yes or no question. Then my answer is yes. Elaborate. It's no longer a yes or no question, then. <laughs> Got a point. Not sure why she's asking me this, but given that she's a out here by herself and probably just finished crying, did you have a fight with Yuri? Uh -huh. We're right on the money. She closes her eyes and sighs. Yes, that's a yes. As I sit back in the bench, I see something strange from across the courtyard. Yuri. <laughs> in the school entrance, I see a silhouette that could only belong to one person. Mm. Is that Monica? Oh. That she sits up and gets a closer look at the door, which causes the silhouette of our club president to disappear. Throws herself back in the bench and sighs once again. Yeah, we had a fight. It was about some dumb stuff, so it's not worth talking about, honestly. I see. Fine, I'm going back. Seems like Monica was out looking for you. Not a chance. At least, not today. Mm. Obviously, something major went down today, but knowing that Suki, she's probably never going to tell me the truth. You know what I think is cool? Hmm? You were able to fix Yuri and Monica's little scuffle last week, all by yourself. Why well, makes you think that? Yeah, not only did you call Monica out on her strange behaviors, you were the only one to make the effort to reach out and talk things out with her. Well, that's only because I, I want to see s s things get fixed, you know? Nobody likes to see friends... She pauses. No one likes to see friends fight. Right. That wasn't really my point with this, though. You asked earlier if you felt like you belonged at the club. I think you, I think you being the one willing to step forward and sh solve issues between your friends proves that you really do belong. Not that you really even needed to prove it that to begin with. Yeah, we'll go with that. Listen, I've got to get going. She gets on the bench and does off her backside. Oh, right. What about your stuff? You're just going to leave it behind? I, I'll figure that out myself. Don't worry about it. Okay, then. Take care. Next week, what's towards the front of the school and is probably heading back home. Scratch my head as I look at the book and I've been holding and get reminded to return back to the club. I instantly look back behind me to see if Natsuki decided to come back for her stuff, even though she seemed pretty serious. Just what went down today that caused her to leave abruptly like this. Not really her style to do so. Then again, last week proved I don't really uh, know much, know, know as much about these girls as I thought I did. Oh, hey Robin, back from the library. What the? <laughs> look behind the, me again, and sure enough, Monica's right there. How'd she do that? Yeah, I found the book Yuri was looking for. Ran to Natsuki on the way here, though. I'm a little upset. <sighs> yeah, let's not act like both didn't catch me looking for her. Just saw you two together, so I assumed that she'd be okay in your hands. So, something did happen. Fortunately, yes. Did she mention anything about it with you? I shake my head. I see. I guess she didn't really want to talk about it with you. Probably just wanted to not... Look, th not think about it at all, honestly. Sure, sure seemed that way. Let's get back to the club then, shall we? I have to give this book to Priori. By the way, don't you think it's weird that Yuri didn't know the name to The Shining? Isn't that a bit weird to you? <laughs> you all forget things sometimes. Look down at the book and think about Yuri. Yeah, I guess. Walk back into the club room and the room suddenly feels tense. Yeah, something definitely happened here. Alright, spill it. What's with the book? I find it difficult to believe that you don't- you didn't know the name to one of the most popular. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to lie to you. This, this is a personal- it's just that this is personal to Natsuki and I don't want to betray her trust. You see, you just- she just told me. She shakes her head. It wasn't that easy. I didn't want her to know about the things we were gonna say. So I had to get you out of the room as quickly as I could. I see. Alright, I understand. Do you, uh, just want the book? Uh, sure, why not? She, she slowly takes the book from me and places it on a nearby desk. So, since we can't really talk about what happened earlier, why well now? Well, you can always... Ah! God, what happened? Meeting adjourned! Here slams her fist on a desk like a judge slams a gavel. I have to get going. Me and Robin have very important matters to discuss. What? 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 Ah. <laughs> they are unpredictable as always. Actually, you should know what I'm talking about. That. 
she's right. We have, uh, we do have something to discuss. All right, then let me just conclude today's meeting with an old-fashioned writing tip of the day. Friends are important to have around. I've even go as far as to say, I I'd even go as far as to say, they're important enough to be considered self-care. Sure, friends can fight sometimes, but what makes that friendship even stronger is the ability to work together on things with the one another. So make sure to show your friends some love today. Even just a short text message can be enough to show how much you care. Thanks for listening. Sari and I walk back home together, not really saying much to each other. I sort of prepared for a pretty long night of serious modes and very wish consists of her pretending to be this stern authority figure to motivate me into getting my work done. It doesn't work. <sighs> Alright, what's the plan now? Uh, actually a total little small fib. What? So this isn't about my grades? Don't get the wrong idea either, you don't have to work on that! I actually wanted to talk to you about what happened in the club today. Uh, but everyone seemed to agree that if it's personal to Natsuki, I, I don't want to know if anything if it's her own personal biz. I know, I guess I just feel like I should have done more. Like all I did was just stand there. I think I even made the situation worse by not really doing anything. Oh no. I thought that maybe I could help, but I just couldn't. All I was able to do was watch. I immediately realized how serious I'm starting to feel, but I'm not really sure how to go about handling it. Uh, well, it's okay. You don't have to say anything. I don't really expect you to. That's how I feel right now. I see. Well, uh, this will eventually pass over, I'm sure. What do you mean? Like the Natsuki situation? Yeah, but also how you're feeling as well. It should all pass with time. Well, it... Sometimes, I really don't think that's the case. Uh, yeah, I know how you feel. Here gives me a strange glare after I say that. Hmm. Alright, I trust you. The uh, what? You do? Yep. Uh, well, alright then. Got any plans for later tonight? Not really. I'm gonna hang out with my mom this evening, though. I think my dad might be coming over as well. Ah, your dad. I haven't seen him in a very long time. He's been working overseas, hasn't he? She nods. That's right. I should get going. Alright, I'll start contacting some of my teachers and maybe work out some things with them about my grades. Should be a cakewalk. Good luck with that. See you tomorrow. I don't know about cakewalk. <laughs> maybe goodbye and walk towards home. Something about this interaction. Nah, it's nothing. Siri does it all the time. Gotten used to it by now. If anything, I'm finding myself more concerned with what exactly went down at the club. Definitely a heated argument, but it seems like much more than that. Not much I can do about that now, I guess. Okay, as per usual, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end the episode here, especially since, well, it looks like there's gonna be something happening with Monica and with the music. But anyways, that has been Doki Doki Salvation Remake for now. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.